Hi guys, this is Kate from Teach Your Kids Code. So I'm gonna be demonstrating a really fun hour of code activity that you can do very easily with minimal setup or prep with your kids or your students in the classroom. We're gonna be demonstrating with two of our favorite robots. We've got Botley here, and we've also got the MakeBlock MBot2 here. So I'm gonna show you how to program in the screen-free fashion and then using the app for the MBot. Um, this activity is great for Hour of Code. If you don't know what Hour of Code is, it's an opportunity for all kids to get a chance to learn about coding. It happens during Computer Science Week, which is the first week of December, so that's coming up. And there's lots of resources online, including on my website, teachyourkidscode.com, as well as one of my favorites, code.org, where there's a lot of resources, <laughs> programs, and tips on how to get students involved in hour of code. So this is a really simple activity. It's not, there's not a lot of prep. I'm demonstrating this on carpet, but you could certainly do it on another flat surface. And so I'm using carpet tiles here. So these just kind of Velcro to the carpet. You can get them on Amazon. I'll link them in the description. But if you're on another type of surface, then you could obviously also just use like painter's tape or paper uh, tape down to create your grid here. So I've got mine set up fairly small, um, but you could definitely spread this out more in your classroom. So the idea here is to program your robot to whichever color uh, carpet tile that you call out. So somebody calls out a color and your class has to figure out how to program your robot. And so let's first demonstrate this on the Botley here, which is a screen-free coding robot. And so this, you use the remote control to program your robot. Um, similarly, we have the Code and Go uh, robot mouse down there, which would also work for this activity and also as a screen free robot. And so let's say that I'm going to try to go to the purple, uh, purple carpet tile. And so again, I might need to experiment because I don't know exactly how far Botley is going to move with each uh, button forward. But let's say, let's try three steps forward. So press the green button three times. Then we're going to want to turn left. And then we're going to need to move forward again to get to that purple uh, tile. So maybe that's going to be two steps. And then let's press the green button and see what happens. Well, let's try again. I might have, um, might have automatically turned off while I was waiting. So let's try it again. And there we go. Now let's press the green button. So there we go. I did pretty good with my algorithm there. It got to the purple tile. And again, if you didn't get there to the purple tile on the first time, that's okay. That's what debugging is in coding. So students will have fun trying to figure out what exactly is the algorithm they need to get to each tile. Like I said, if you move these tiles out further from each other, it will be harder and harder. And students should write down what they um, pressed and um, record their algorithm so they know what worked. Now I'm going to show you how it works with the MBOT. So I'm going to open up my app. So for this uh, coding robot, I need to use the MBlock app here. So I already had it open and I think I'm still connected here. And so this is a block-based coding app. So in this case, we're gonna be doing block-based coding to program our robot. So it's not quite screen-free, but it does uh, give a great opportunity for students to learn about how to use coding algorithms in a block-based format. So let's say it, for this one that I wanna get to that blue carpet tile there. So I've already programmed in my algorithm that I think is gonna work. I'm gonna move forward for about five seconds and then I'm gonna turn left for one second and then I'm gonna move forward for three seconds. So let's see if that works. Press the green flag. Oh, 
All right, pretty good. So I was pretty close to the blue tile there. I did obviously try this one in advance. Again, if I wasn't quite there, then I could debug this algorithm. Super simple hour of code activity. You can do that with any of the robots that we've got here. We've got the Edison, we've got the MBOT Ranger, Elegoo, Smart Robot, Sphero Mini, the Code and Go Mouse. Any of these coding robots, you could design this exact same game or activity and be a super simple hour of code activity to get your kids or students excited about coding. Hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe.